Being smart. You want to have the eh? Yeah. The, the, the question I'm always asked. Am I member? Sasa. Oh, okay. So you scan it? Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, it is a zero emission. It does not actually uh, emit uh, any, 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 anything. It is actually uh, does not emit uh, any smoke. Uh, and therefore, we know very well that when we come here, uh, the GKA, what they are looking for is uh, a transport solution that is going to address to the climate change. We are going to maintain or even make it better uh, the current fares that are currently there with the current operators. So we're not going to increase any fares. If anything, we will look at it and uh, maybe be able to subsidize because we have also partnered with the Moja Expressway. So we'll be using the Expressway from here to Westlands, from here to Kitengela and other routes. So we are not actually out here to increase the fares. We compare these kind of buses and the buses that we have had there before. You, I, I believe a lot of us have experience when they come to the airport, you know, old buses, smoking buses, and, and that's something we want to change. Uh, my experience, for example, when I go out and I come here, first when I come, I find I am in you know, a very different uh, atmosphere from where I'm coming from. And I think this is a step towards uh, making sure JKA reach, reaches world-class standards, which is the expectation across the globe. Operate mm. fixed, dynamic and, and conventional routes using uh, existing infrastructure laid out by these bus companies in terms of uh, offering convenient uh, in drop-off and pick-up points. We offer cashless and gateway services. We provide uh, solutions to challenges that are experienced by commuters bus companies and individual bus owners known as uh, investors. For example, the biggest challenge when it comes to commuters uh, and the drivers is lack of visibility. So our system has provided visibility whereby uh, the drivers know where the customers are and where to pick them. And the customers can see uh, the, the, where the vehicles are. So the, we have uh, developed a mobile application where the passengers log in. It has two functions. One is a, a book like Uber, instant booking, called Book Now. So the passengers will just declare where they want to go, and they will be able to see the buses that are going to that place, the number of seats, uh, the fare, and so they will book. This avoids uh, the inconvenience that the customers have had uh, in the past, having to wake up uh, earlier than, than necessary to queue with the expectation, with the speculation maybe there will be no buses. So they can be able to see where the buses are, track them, and then arrange and plan themselves in accordance with the, the, the convenient time for them to leave. You also have another function where you schedule, where we've allowed the passengers to schedule their vehicles. Uh, for convenience purposes, if you know that uh, you travel maybe tomorrow in the afternoon, maybe the day after, you can just get into the schedule uh, function of the application and book, schedule your trip and then you'll be able to see the buses that will be there. You can book your trip and all you need to do uh, that particular day is avail yourself with the booking ID that will be generated by the system. As Nairobi County, we are, we are, we are strictly about it that uh, probably from next year, uh, uh, mid next year, we'll be having uh, zones where there will be uh, called zero emission zones. So if your car is not uh, as per the zero emission zones, then it means that you won't access some parts of the CBD. So we are coming up with regulations right now. Or the right at, uh, we are almost winding up in the cabinet. So we just want to ask other circles that they have to take this route that we are taking today by going e-mobility. E strategy of reducing carbon emission in the airport environment. And in the next five years, we must reduce that emission by 18%. And by the year 2050, we should be at 0%. And whatever we are doing is both within KA and without. So this kind of partnership is very, very critical because uh, 
other than the one we are uh, the emission we are generating with, during our operation processes there are others which are also being generated by the other stakeholders like the ones who are doing public transport so when we are seeing them migrating from fossil fired vehicles to electric fired vehicles we become very very excited and we are going to give them all the support they require to ensure that they have a sustainable business in this uh, mode of transport which they have adopted going forward. Other than that, we are also improving our facilities to ensure that we minimize on carbon emission. We are expanding the capacity of our runway so that aircraft do not take time to exit from the runway and therefore they don't burn a lot of fuel while they are waiting to take off. And other than that, we are also ensuring that business processes within the what within KA are also paperless so that we also support the environment and other things. So I tend to think that with this partnership and all the initiatives we are having, we'll be able to assist the country in achieving the carbon emission reduction targets. After we are going forward, we'll be replacing our existing vehicles with uh, what, uh, electric vehicles. So that one is something which is in the pipeline. Of the two very important factors that we are supposed to do on transport was on e-mobility. I think this is on page 30 of that manifesto. It is really a very important uh, achievement that we must make sure that we deliver on as a country. And you know in the region, Kenya, we are used to be pioneers. Uh, once we get it right here, it has a spiral effect to the rest of the region and the continent. Uh, we and uh, we have set up what we refer to as an e-mobility task force. The report will be ready next month and to be presented to the Honorable Cabinet Secretary. I wish he was here today to speak on to that because he would have gone on and gone on and to listen to how eloquent and passionate he is on issues uh, of uh, e-mobility. So it is really a priority uh, for us to ensure that we encourage uh, private sector to be pioneers because this administration is keen on life leveraging on private sector. We have had we have had this discussion and it is really a priority for us as a ministry through my cabinet secretary on the Mukon to ensure that we work with you because these are needs that are needed uh, and we will ensure that we also deliver on having a cashless system. The transport sector is the biggest polluter of GHG gases. And of that, 99% of that pollution comes from the road transport sector. Only 1% comes from the maritime and, and the aviation sector. So we want to encourage and see more and more of electric uh, vehicles in place. There have been incentives that have been provided by this Finance Act on having electric vehicles. There have been some tax incentives on batteries, uh, batteries. There have been some tax incentives on some spare parts. We are also encouraging the manufacturing of uh, parts of vehicles and motorcycles here inside the country and all that. So take advantage of that, Classico and Co, uh, to ensure that you maximize that uh, available incentives.